Hey, all you viewers, to be named later. How are we doing today? I got to say, right from the start, I am so sorry for the humming noise that you may be hearing in the background. An apartment nearby me is getting its carpets clean, and there's nothing I can do to prevent that humming noise at this point. But with that being said, moving on. As you know, we're going to take a look today at the Top Snives Devil's Claw 2. Normally, you would see a package or something like that on the table, but Top Snives never really send boxes. They just put stuff in a bag, and they mail it to you. So I thought that was definitely interesting. But here it is in all its glory. Yes, it is a, oh, come on, a karambit. And it is a fixed blade karambit, which I just absolutely love. I love the G10 scales on the handle itself. Whew, yeah. What? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I was looking at something differently. I, I love that black on the blue. It just gives it a neat little look. It's not huge. You can easily scout carry this guy, as you can see, you know, left or right hand style, depending on how you want to pull or draw. Or you can even set it up maybe as a necker, but I really wouldn't suggest having that hanging from your neck. It may get a little bit old, and especially that ounce weight, it may cause some problems. I do like that forward jimping. I just saw it and went, ooh, you need to come to the collection. So let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do. Now, one of the things I think is really, really cool with Tops is with every blade you purchase, they give you their certificate of manufacture and authenticity. What I truly love is they are still offering free sharpening for life, but you need to pay for postage both ways. Now, what I like right here, the model number is on every single Tops blade, you are going to find a model number. You put that on your certificate of authenticity, and that basically means, yep, it's mine. I own it. Let's get this thing sharpened. All right, let's get into the stats and the fun stuff. Overall, it's got a length of about 7.38 inches. The blade's 3.13 with a cutting surface of 2.75. The handle is about 4.25, and it comes in at a pretty good weight of 7.20 ounces. It's a fixed blade with a lot of steel, so I can see that. Now, it is done in the hawkbill style, or karambit, however you want to call it, but that one's more hawkbill because it doesn't have a really huge curve in that blade, but I'll let you call it what you want. We do have a plain edge with a flat grind, and the blade steel, like most Topps knives are, are 1095 high carbon steel with a black traction coating finish. That just helps with, you know, scratchy scrapes, um, rust resistance, and all that fun stuff. Now, like I said before, we do have textured G10 scales that are black and blue in color, but it has those neat red spacers that go the full length that I thought added a neat little splash of color in there that was just flat out awesome. Now, we do have a Kydex sheath with what they call their um, beta loops. These things are only designed to be opened one way. So if you're trying to, say, do this, they're not going to open pulling it like that no problem of course come on there we go all right and in case you're wondering yes it is made in the usa all right let's do the cut tests that we like to do here on the channel if you're curious why we're doing these take a look right up top you're gonna see a card for why i do those cut tests all right first up heavy duty stock paper oh yeah A little bit of snow on the blade, no biggie. And yeah, may need to be stropped a little. Can you see those coming along the back? All right, now let's see if we can get that curly cue. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. Now, the big reason why I like to do that is because anybody can just come along and go sharp. But you see the tears? Of course. Try to show off, Chris. Way to go. But if you take your blade, run it across nice and slow, and maintain that same angle, of course it's not going to do it now. That paper should curl back in on itself and give you a neat little curly cue. Yeah, more snow. No big deal. All right, paracord. Now, lately when I'm doing some reviews, it's been surprising me. So let's see what's going to happen. <sighs> Pull test. Okay. I was expecting the worst. Let's go with the slice. Me, yeah. Not as clean as I may like it across the paracord, but it'll do. All right. 
and our friend, the one, the only, Mr. Ratchet Strap. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's do what we usually do. Take a look at that blade. Yeah, I remember not seeing any pits chipping, anything, any rolls, anything like that, so cool. All right, now, I did the homework and all the fun stuff on this guy on 521.21, and it's currently 526.21. I found it on Amazon, Tops, and Blade HQ. Well, I'd like to say I found it because on all three on 521, it's out of stock or not available. So on Amazon, it's 119 bucks. On Tops, it's 150, and Blade HQ, it's 99.95. It's been reviewed once on Blade HQ for a five out of five star rating. <coughs> no reviews whatsoever on Tops, and 17 reviews for a four and a half star rating out of five. I love this thing, I really do. For a Karambit fixed blade, it's been great to carry. It's been a pleasure to carry. Thank God I haven't had to deploy it at all in any kind of self defense, which makes me happy. <laughs> very, very happy. But still, now we're at the part of the video that I absolutely love the most. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger, right down below. Do you think she's a noise or an F-bomb? A noise or an F-bomb? I really want to know, guys. I kind of like it. Now, after you've left all that fun stuff down below for me, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thanks so much for viewing this video. Look, I know there's lots of options out there on YouTube, and I'm very, very grateful that you're choosing my channel. Now, for you first-time viewers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, what can I do to earn your subscription? Why don't you leave me a constructive comment right down below, please, in the comment section, and let's see how we can implement that into a future video. Now, after you've done all that, I know I'm asking a lot, but it's all free, okay? Take a look right down there. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up in a moment. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you to subscribe. Make it one click, easy access for you. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the park, please, if you so choose, destroy the little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every time, every time this channel uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they feel is going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop look at the Topps Knives Devil Claw 2. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a safe day, a great day, and I will see you in our next video.